Hi, I'm Stephanie from Math with Missy, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Desmos computation layer for your card store. This will allow you to give feedback to students in their card store and also get feedback from students' card stores on your end as well. So let's get started. We're using the computation layer example that I've created. It's linked in the info. If you want to click that before you start watching, go ahead, pause the video to do that. We're going to jump straight into editing the activity. So I'm going to click the three, but three dots on the top right and click Edit Activity. This will open up the entire slide deck that I've created, and it'll allow me to see the codes. And also, if you want to use any of these codes, it'll allow you to access those codes as well. Our card store is on slide seven, so I'm clicking to slide seven, and you'll notice that it has a bunch of cards already created. It, each of these cards is linked to an answer key. So if I click on answer key, I'll see that these are matched to their correct pairs, and so my answer key is already set. The card sort works like this. So I'm going to show you what the students will see first and then walk you through the code. So students will just need to match these up to the correct answer choices. Six, seven, And something to keep in mind for students is make sure you tell them to touch the cards. A lot of times I'll see that students will match them this way. And if they aren't having the cards touch, it won't register as being correct or incorrect on both students and teacher end. Once they have the card sort completed, they'll go to the next slide and they can click this button to check their card sort. And if they have a few incorrect, um, the message that will show up will look a little different. And that's basically what that will look like. So let's look at the code. So on the card sort side, the biggest piece to keep in mind is to make sure you're not labeling your card sort. So this one was actually something I had used from another activity. So it's called number line sort. You can call it whatever you want and just remember what you've named it. Because when you go into the next slide where students are checking their answers on slide eight here, you have the card sort answer check for the label. You have a note and also a button. These again can be all found on this dashboard side on the left side of your Desmos activity screen. Again, the code for all of these activities are in that little embed piece. So the carrots with the slash, and you'll notice that it has code in both the notes and also the button. So let's look at the code for the note. This code can just be copied and pasted into any activity you want to do. So you don't really need to have a deep understanding of it. You just need to know the important pieces. So I'm going to quickly walk you through this. Um, so it says when the button is pressed and when the line number line sort matches the key, you'll return great job as the prompt. Again, this number line sort was the name of the card sort that I had labeled in the previous activity. You can name it whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you to remember, um, but you just need to make sure you change it on this end. When number line sort total correct card is less than five, you have less than half correct is returned as the prompt. Otherwise, the last case would be you have less than half correct, keep going. So those are the three prompts that students will see on their end. On the button end, um, the button is hidden until the press count is equal to 10. Um, and so that's just something that you can copy and paste into your activity. And that's pretty much it. Students will be able to get that feedback. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them. And I hope this was helpful. Bye. Have a good day.